Merchant of the Skies is a wholesome airship trading game, which was made with a lot of love and care by a duo of indie devs from Latvia. While trying the game out and gathering the footage to make this video, I came across a few bugs and typos and joined their Discord to report them. Everything I reported was fixed within a day. These are developers who really care about their game and respond quickly to feedback. It's something you just don't find with every game. In Merchant of the Skies, you are a young airship pilot setting out to do your first trading. Your uncle has bought you a ship for your birthday, and you want to make him proud. When you start a new game, you can choose your goal. Restoring the lighthouse, the default, feeding the fish god, acquiring a set amount of wealth, or just playing freeform with no set goal or time limit. You can also set a specific amount for some of the goals, like exactly how many apples you want to feed to the fish god. The aesthetics on this game are beautiful. Quality pixel art graphics and nice music. The gameplay is relatively simple, but contains more depth than I had expected. You fly from island to island on a randomly generated map, keeping an eye on your power levels. On islands with towns, you can usually buy and sell trade goods to make some money. At trade guilds, you can also accept missions, either to deliver a message to another island, or to deliver a set list of goods to the guild. There are also other places where you can add upgrades to your ship, buy a new ship, or hire crew. On top of that, there are special islands, such as a bank where you can invest your money and gather interest later, bazaars where you can sell items that the trade merchants won't buy, and some other interesting surprises, like this friend here. Aside from the inhabited islands, there are also plenty of islands which contain natural resources which you can harvest with the right tools. Those are the upgrades for your ship. This is a way of obtaining resources without having to buy them, but it takes time, and of course you have to invest in the tools first, which eventually break. Is it worth it? Well, the real bounty of these islands comes when you buy them and start building on them. You can assign crew members from your ship to harvest the resources for you, and even process them into more complex materials which you can use for building or sell at a bazaar. The buildings can also be upgraded, and managing a handful of your own islands can become a complex job all on its own. You can keep track of your main goal in the window at the top right of the screen. But be aware, when you reach your goal, you get a congratulations, your uncle is proud of you screen, and then the game simply ends and your save file is removed. It's possible this will be added to or adjusted in the future. Remember, the game is still in early access, and there's surely more to come down the road. For now, if you want to keep playing infinitely, just choose the freeform infinite play option when you start your game. If you're starting your first game, here are a few tips that might help you out. First off, don't try to explore the whole map right away. Your starting ship has a really tiny fuel tank, and you'll need to recharge often. Instead, take the trade guild missions and complete them immediately. When you go to the map window, you can see your target marked with a scroll on the map. On the way, stop at any islands you pass and recharge that battery whenever you get the chance. Then, once that quest is finished, start the next one, and keep going until you get a bit of extra money. As soon as you have about 600 currency, buy a new ship right away and charge it up. The larger battery will last much longer without risking running out of fuel between islands, and the extra cargo space will come in handy. That ought to give you a solid start. Now get out there! Buy low, sell high, feed the fish god, sing along with the giant carrot, and have a great time. And if you enjoy the game, make sure to stop by the developer's Discord server and let them know. They're very nice people, and I'm sure they'd appreciate it. But if Merchant of the Skies just isn't your cup of tea, don't worry. I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and who knows? That one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.